A major new development plan for the edge of the U of A has been working to win over neighbors who've been a little iffy about its effects. Yeah, as Kagan Ninersides Craig Smith reports, the plan offers a mix of residential and retail. A developer thinks there is a lot of potential for this area of 6th and Campbell, but that led to some negotiating to be sure that the neighborhoods would think it's a positive for them too. Developer Scott Cummings has more in mind for the southwest corner of 6th Street and Campbell than the homes and small shops there now. He's planning a combination of a multi-floor apartment building plus retail and restaurants stretching from Campbell almost to Warren Avenue. But people in Rincon Heights, the neighborhood just south of the plan development, worried how such a big change might affect them. Attorney Rory Juneman represented the developer. He says through some negotiations, the plan was adjusted to reduce the neighborhood concerns over issues like would the development feature potentially rowdy bars. Some of the, the commercial businesses not being uh, not being bars, and we've put in uh, quite a few commitments to, to make sure that's the case. They've been concerned about uh, affordable housing provisions, which we've included um, uh, a, a donation to the city to help with affordable housing in the area. Um, we've we've put in some some requirements to to make sure that the amenity spaces don't cause noise in the neighborhood. Tim Kinney is the attorney looking out for the interests of the Rincon Heights neighborhood. He says an important agreement was the apartments would not be strictly student apartments. In, in Tucson, traditional student housing is rented by the bed, and in the Tucson zoning code, that's called group dwelling. So we were able to uh, prohibit group dwelling as a permitted use in this development so that any residential units have to be rented by the unit, not by the bed. Kinney says residents want to see a development they may want to visit. After a city examiner considers the case, it's up to Tucson City Council to decide whether to approve the project. Near 6th and Campbell, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.